we'll call it a day. Alright, so home. Okay. Let me just reference what I did earlier. File. Hey, go, yeah. Uh, uh, team slash punk rock pv ob uh, with six engine only one uh, worth of fortune fan made yeah we'll do that fan made prequel or ff6 with a uh, self-made engine uh, and self-composed soundtrack on in and have a good old ff6 a good old SNES RPG throwback There we go. All right, I like that tweet. We'll send that out. Six hundred only one with fortune. I think that's his name. Keep on saying Kage, but maybe it's Cage. Kage was um Virtual Fighter. Was it Virtual Fighter? Alright, uh let us do this. We'll get this on screen just so you can see what's going on and let me move this over just so I can see what's going on which is always helpful. Hmm. Alright, so that's good. Alright, so I just wanted to highlight uh, the website where this is playable at. Uh, it's just sixengine.com. Like I said, it's by William Cage or Kage. I apologize. Uh, I'll just go with Cage. Um, but I ran into this dude at, uh, MAGFest, was that 2019 he was there and he was giving away, um, or selling for, uh, you know, whatever, their uh, exchange of money or donations for a CD of, you know, RPG music in the SNES style, so caught my attention because, you know, the entire thing is just a soundtrack for a game that is a fan prequel to Final Fantasy VI, um, Specifically reading off the card that I have, 6 Engine is a game engine inspired by SNES classics like FF6, Chrono Trigger, Lufia, and more. Scenario number one is complete, and you can play it by using the access code below, which is what I have on the back. Uh, which is also nice is that there's a code that I can save my data, um, and if you wanted to pick up uh, where we leave off, uh, you can always just enter that for your save data, and you download my save data, and you can pick up and play from there. So... I've never done that, so I'm not sure how that works, but either way, very cool. I'm very excited to play this. One, I've listened to the soundtrack a billion times in my car at this point. Um, during road trips and stuff like that, it's real nice. Uh, they have two discs for it, um, where one is Super Nintendo um, style, and then the other one is Game Boy style. So, Hey, howdy, uh, Callisti. Alright, let's see. So, I just want, like I said, I want to show off the website. So 6engine.com, it's actually where you play it. Um, they give you some more details. I'll let you listen to the soundtrack there. Um, and, you know, it's available on Bandcamp. You can also donate and get t-shirts. But, so, these are, you know, a couple different screenshots of the game. Uh, right now, from what I see, it looks like there's going to be four parts of it. Um, first part, and all this is freely playable, by the way. So if you, you're interested, go check it out. But, um, it's... The first part is complete. It's about two to three hours. Um, so I don't know if each chunk is going to be about that. 
But then I also saw when I went there, they're also working on, if you're interested, it looks like, or he is working on, um, one that is a little bit more Earthbound themed. So ETA quarter four 2021. Um, and then also Switch looks like ETA 2022 quarter three, which, how cool is that, right? Um, so yeah, so if, if you like what we're doing tonight, check this out um, and give his games a whirl. Uh, I have played Six Engine um, back when, like I said, it was 2019 January, I think. Uh, after MAGFest, I put I played about half of it, um, but it's been a while and life has been chaotic. So uh, I'm going to be starting over and we'll go ahead and we'll just start fresh from the beginning. So, uh, you know, it does load up previous save data if you want. Uh, you know, you have controls as far as like if you want to use a keyboard, but you can also set up a uh, controller and touch as well, it looks like. So if you wanted to play this on an iPad or something like that, it looks like you have that ability. But, so let me, I was just testing this out. So let's go ahead and start a new game. And I enjoy the music. I hope it's not on too loud. Uh, let me know if it is, and I will, you know, bring it down a little bit. Let me just set the controls. And I just mentioned that this takes events, or it's the events prior to Final Fantasy VI. And if I bob my head to the music, I apologize. It's hard not to. It's good stuff. If we hurry, we can still make it back before sunset. Ah, one of these days, we should take our time and see if we've missed anything along the way. <laughs> Uh, today we're going to pick out uh, our best destination yet. Timing is important. You'll see. I recognize these two people. Kind of. Rachel was not necessarily playable last time, but... Ah, those sounds. Alright. Oh, a bunch of thieves. So how are you doing uh, tonight over there, Callisti? Oh, I can steal multiple items too. Did not remember that. Let's see what Detect does. Oh, I'm doing alright. Like I said, I was feeling in the mood, so I pulled an audible, decided that uh, I'd play this tonight instead of doing more of the Marvel game, or even more of the, the EverQuest game. <laughs> um, especially because I haven't completed this, and it seemed like a good time. It's mostly because I was out driving, I heard the soundtrack, and I was like, yeah, I should probably give this a go. Plus, it's, you know, it's cool. It's something that, um, honestly, outside of going to MAGFest and meeting the dude, I didn't know that this existed. I haven't heard anyone really talk it up. Um, it's pretty cool. I like the idea that people are, um, showing some love for the good old days. Ah, relics. I missed that. I think that M is hello, so howdy, Jesse. Oh, howdy, good sir. What what movies would uh, tonight be? Let's 
So, reveal enemies, items, and estimate steel difficulty. Steel attempt with an increased... Oh, that's kind of fun. Forward versus Ferrari. That is... What was that? Uh, Jason Bourne? Oh, that's kind of a fun Dragonfly rarity. That's very cool. Um, yeah, sorry, Matt Damon and someone else in that, right? Was that uh, ba Batman? That's what I thought. Okay. Uh, not, what the? F I hate that dude. That actor bugs me. Can't remember his name, but it, it's the dude from um. Oh, what is that? Oh, American Psycho. You know, I should be more for that movie. Christian Bale, thank you. I should be more for that movie, given that it's Ford, and that is effectively the only reason why the Detroit area exists the way that it does. Um, like, all of the surrounding Detroit, uh, all the suburbs, all that comes from Ford existing in this area. Dearborn being built up, um, you know, the ton of immigrants that came through and, you know, effectively became the community here. Um... William Ford, that, or Henry Ford, my bad. Sorry, I'm thinking William Cog, uh, Cage, but, um, yeah, uh, Henry Ford was a very not good dude. Um, <laughs> like, I didn't realize well into my 20s that he was a giant racist, uh, that he helped, he helped Volkswagen exist during World War II, which was a big problem, and leading up, you know, he worked with Mr. Uh, Adolf Hitler, um, and, you know, the reason why we have so many different communities in this area, like, there is a Polish district, an Arab district, uh, you know, Irish district, blah, 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 so on and so forth, is because he strongly encouraged people to stay with their own kind, you know, um, under the guise of, well, it's good to keep your, keep your, um, what is the term? To keep your heritage and culture intact so you should have your own villages and your own cities so like the city of Hamtramck here is uh, you know the name itself is very Polish but um like it, it was for many years the Polish it means if you play six engine in a different voice uh, it will not have your save however you can use a special feature called your RSL save game with you to another device Save menu, which available from any sparkling save point like this one. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure I stay up on this. I would like to just save uh, local. Make it easier for me right now. But, um, so yeah, so Hamtramck ended up becoming the de facto Polish neighborhood through, I want to say all the way up through the year 2000. Um, and then it started to break apart uh, as far as being like, you know, 95% Polish. Now it's even break. Uh, it's a big old melting pot here in the Detroit area. Let's see, we made it just in time too. What are we checking out, Rachel? Ah. Uh, ah, that twinkly thing over there. We should check it out then. They're not thieves, they're treasure hunters. Besides, those poor birds could use some exercise. Alright, then let's uh, go back to Collington. Collingen? Collingen. Oh, great. Now it's spooky. I'll try to remember to um, read out loud the, uh, the text just in case, because I forget that... Um, 
reading, I tend to speed read, which is not good, but... Uh, so keeping up is usually impossible if you're actually trying to take in what they're saying. I'm trying to see... I kind of screwed something up. There we go. Alright, let's get this back and get that mouse out of your face. And I am able to use this with a uh, Dual Shock 4, so. Yeah, the music, he really nailed it. I will say that. And it was fun when I saw, um, saw him at MAGFest. He was in Lock Cosplay, so that was nice. I know this sounds probably blasphemous, but my guess is you could pull the music from this and like throw it on shuffle with uh, the actual Final Fantasy VI soundtrack, and it would blend right in. People probably wouldn't even realize. Which I think is pretty cool. I know personally at this point I'd probably confuse the two of them. Just because I've listened to this so many times, as well as uh, the Final Fantasy VI soundtrack. Skimmer. Some evil looking skimmers. Faint. What is that? Reduce enemies, defense, and evasion. That's kind of fun. Now, I am interested to see, because like I said, until tonight, I didn't realize that uh, this dude was also doing an Earthbound throwback. Earthbound style throwback, I guess I should say. Um, that's really cool, so I, I would like to check that out, because I have not seen that at all before. It's interesting that it's coming to Switch, too. I mean, obviously with this one, um, copyrighted character, so can't really put that out for sale. So, I'm sure with the other game, the Onasan, um, it's smart with that to, uh, make it all original. Raise own counter and evasion. Okay. It's a Mog. It's Stiltskin. He's from FF9. Oh, yeah, small tonic ether tent. Want to buy for three thirty-three? Sure. Thanks. I'll keep. Uh, this will keep me going for another week or so. That's cool. I kind of like that. It's not just like a full-on shop, but just like a hey, here's a deal, buddy. It looks pretty cool. Alright, time for us to nab some top-notch chocobos. There they are. Oh, you're not even shy about it. Just out in the open discussing how you're going to snatch them. Oh, yeah, Corwin should be asleep by now. All we need to do is grab some uh, Gissel greens. I never knew how to say that word. I brought that up, I think, on the previous stream. It's always fun getting into um, fantasy games and actually saying the words out loud because... Normally you don't. Uh, once we lure, uh, lure both of them out of their pen, I'll take them to the east side of town. Sounds good. Gotta keep them hidden until we're ready to leave. Are you sure you can manage? Psst, please. I've wrangled more chocobos than you've even seen. Damn, she's thrown down. Uh, we just need to make sure that we find the right bait. Corwin has a tendency to spoil his animals. So what, we gotta get the fanciest greens? The water from this well is so refreshing it feels like magic. Is it? Ah. HP and SP fully restored. I only exercise when the moon is out. The night sky is just so breathtaking. What? Hey, no, I'm not a vampire. I'm just old. Kids these days. Sheesh. And I was wondering that when they're like, Hey, Corrin must be in bed by now. I'm like, but these dudes are hanging out. But I guess the old dude over here is a vampire, so... 
Ah, what is this? Gissel greens. It's this dark one. Oh, you won't let me get to it. Sweet greens. I have a feeling that's gonna be uh that's gonna be the magic. Alright, so no other greens. Sorry, navigation's a little goofy in there. Ooh, Corwin's sleeping. I'm gonna go into his house and go through his shit. Oh, nothing on the kettle. See, we could make it look like an accent like Hot Fuzz and just kind of set this thing to go. That way, dude takes uh, a good permanent nap, if you will. And then we can take his stroke wheels without guilt. Oh, I never find the secret weapon. It's so spicy. Hidden well in there. Why is your weapon spicy? Hmm. Alright, so nothing over there. Spicy greens. All right. All right, here's a proper store. Hmm, I wonder if I'll be coming or sticking around here for a while. Town musics are always the best. Even going back to like Final Fantasy 1 on Nintendo, their town music was just good. Huh. Just hanging out at the library. Why can't these people put their books away? Or has that rare white flower grown in this region? Could it be hiding in the shade near a small pond, perhaps? Humble Mandra has a mask that prevents sleep curses. I might try to steal a mask for myself so I don't fall victim to the terrible Mandraga lullaby. Unpusher. Whoa, easy there, sprint shoes. Ever stop to smell the roses? Press the B while you're standing still to change speeds. Shifter J. Can I do that? Oh, that's a little better. Not necessarily in a rush. That's a good tip, sir. Did you know you can move this blue message box at will? Press the Y button to move this window up and down, really. Huh. Yeah, I'll leave you up top. Let me read the first one. Uh, from the field menu, you use the order to change your party leader. You can also click on a party member twice for back row. Reduces damage by half. Uh, during battle, you can press left for row or right for defend. If you use defend while in the back row, you'll take 75 or less damage from enemies. Wow. I tell you what. Wow. Uh, try taking items from enemies with the steal command. If you use the detect ability, you can gauge how difficult it will be to steal their items. Okay. Are you having trouble stealing items from an enemy? Try using loot ability to dramatically improve your odds. Hey. You don't like me giving away your secrets? Apparently I've upset him. Sorry, Goya. Uh, over the years I've studied goblins, mandras, moogles, and countless other creatures. My latest obsession is to study various types of insects. Look at these little guys uh, out on the water. Fascinating. Yeah, Goy is all sorts of awesome. Let's see if I run back on. I don't have a way to toggle that with the controller that I can tell. He'll be back. I think he actually just got up hangry. Let's give this a shot. Alright, Gissel greens aren't impressing anyone. Bitter greens don't seem very enticing. Spicy greens are drawing some attention. Oh, this one's all fired up. Sweetened greens are piquing some interest. Ah, good. I now have two chocobos. 
piece of cake. Let's sneak them over the east side of town. What, do they just follow me? Yeah, there we go. Come on, you big chickens. All set. You were just with me the whole time. You literally just walked out of me. You know we're all set. Oh, I'll meet you at the clearing first thing tomorrow. Okay. I'm excited. I ordered some new lighting too for the stream, so I can get rid of this giant glare that's on me. The next day. It's over here. Hey, what's up? Well, the chocobos are tied up by the shore. They're not very well behaved. I don't think they'll make it through the desert pass. Yeah, those sandstorms get pretty intense this time of year. We can get to Mount Colts from the other side through the tunnels under Narsh. I always wanted to see a Mandra Flora. Let's take a peek at it on the way. Actually, we'll have to. That forced the only way th uh, to the northern tunnel entrance. Only been to Mandra Flora for a couple of deliveries, but I bet you'll like it there. Great, but we have to keep moving. Uh, if I'm gone for too long, my family will freak. All right, no problem. Uh, Corwin's stroke will also get us to the forest in no time. Then it's just a quick stroll through the devil's through the devil's road to the Savile Mountains. Really, Seville? We'll go to Seville Mountains. Oh, just a quick stroll through the devil's road. Don't worry about the name. That's safe. Thank you. That's what I was thinking. It's just a nickname. Okay, why is it the nickname? Uh, is someone gonna challenge me with a fiddle there? Alright, so anyways, once we get to the forest, we'll get Corwin's chocobos to go home. And go home. Hey, you're back. Did you get some kibble? Alright, no turning back after that. Are we ready to go? Yes. Let's. Let's go. Hey. Oh. Let's go. C Colin Jim? Colin Jim. Colin Jim. you what pretty cozy huh is this water I want to go for a swim no thank let's just keep moving such good music Not like the others. Uh, they don't like outsiders. Just keep your distance and you'll be okay. That's what I do. Did I really just scare you again? Okay, okay. Well, you know, I came here to pick a fight. Oh, what did I do? That's something I shouldn't have. No! Fuck. Sorry. I hit the wrong button. Apparently there's an auto battle button. I did not remember that, so. Square goes into auto battle. Can I leave? No, turn it back now. That's a no. Damn it, I want to respawn that enemy. I wanted to see if I could steal anything. Skill detect from Let's see what kind of loot they have. Small tonic times one. Detect. What does the mandra have? A mandra mask. Oh, that's right. I read about those. Prevent sleep. So, let me see if I could steal that. I have a feeling that's going to come in handy in this two-hour journey. Why couldn't you steal? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I have a soft spot in my heart for, uh, for SNES RPG music. It's simply the bee's knees, if you will. 
Small tonic. Not what I'm going for. Needed steel arm. Um, a second one of those blades. Dragonfly, that's what it was called. Wonder if it's one of their sh -ch 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 things. Yeah, that's... Honestly, that's my big thing with it, too. Um, I listen to a lot of video game music uh, when writing or wa wishing I could write. Um, or even at work, a lot of times um, I'll listen to that stuff. What's your um current go-to? What have you... Uh, I don't know, this week, what have you listened to? Small tonic, get. Like, honestly, I just, um, not RPG, but I did just play through all of Scott Pilgrim, um, just because I wanted to listen to the music. Oh, nice. Good choice. Ian on Twitter is absolutely gaga for, uh... Fuck, don't die. Uh, absolutely gaga for, uh, the Final Fantasy XIII soundtracks. Uh, the... Was it, uh, Mazu, Mazu, Hamaz, I can't remember the dude's name right now, Maz, Masushi Hamatsu, is that his name? Um, I'm butchering his name right now because I'm going off of memory. Um, really did a fantastic job Final Fantasy 13. Uh, I'm sure following up. Like, just, you know, the, the legacy of Final Fantasy soundtracks is just up there, so... Being a, a new contributor to the series with a very, um... What is the term? Very divisive entry in the series uh, can't be simple. Masashi Hamazu. Okay. Halfway there. Oh, you've got her tonics. That's, ooh, that's definitely not worth worth getting my ass kicked. Ooh, you hit real hard, dude. All right, so let's see. Get some regrowth going. That way you don't die. Yeah, my, I think my biggest go-to for, um, God, you just love beating on lock. Um, my big go-to for soundtracks for writing has, for anything creative right now, has been, um, the Final Fantasy IX soundtrack. I, which is not my favorite game in the series by any stretch of the imagination, but has a really good soundtrack. That's another one of those soundtracks that I've probably listened to about a million times. Yeah, it's just weird because it's the one I have the, the, the least amount of connections to. I've listened to that not nearly as much as I wish I did. Uh, I think I've listened through that once. Um... But I, I have one or two friends online that just hate that game, so it's kind of made it hard to enjoy the music. Um, I need to play the game myself. Alright, there's my cave. Let me get this guy. Oof, it's a lot of enemies. Get some regrowth going. 
And I know I get it. Uh, I'll play the game myself, make my own opinion. Um, yeah, that's that's one of their complaints. Their other big complaint that I hear for that game is that the stories aren't interwoven enough. Um, which I understand how that can be a bummer if you're playing an RPG. You want characters to connect and you know to them to impact each other's story and there be crossover, but. Just the way that they designed that game to go at your own pace to meet all the different characters. I understand there's limitations as to how you can implement the group. Um, because maybe you have characters A and B but not C, you know? So, just... I, I get it. Um, but I do have uh, another friend who lives by me. She, um, absolutely adores that game. Um, and I know this because she's put, I think, 130 hours in it? When I saw it on Switch, uh, saw her profile, which is, you know, complete opposite of what they were at. Buckler. Okay, she cannot use Buckler, so I guess it's yours. But I, I like Grindy, though. I mean, I, I... be completely honest, like, I've played my fair share of Grindy games, and I generally don't mind them. Like, Secret of Mana is another one of those games that is very grindy if you go back and play it, uh, today. Oof. So what's in this cave? Ooh, Moogles, and a safe spot. I have a feeling, uh, combat's gonna get kinda goofy up ahead. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Secret of Mana, if you ever go back and, like, replay it and you try to get all the, the ninth level, um, orbs for all the, the weapons... Um, there's quite a bit of grinding to it, which I, as a kid, I thought was fun. Sure, let's learn about Mo Mognet from Magneto. That's a brand new way to communicate over long distances. It sure beats using carrier pigeons, Kubo. Uh, it all started as a mail service for us Moogles to keep in touch with each other. Now we can track special achievements for all kinds of adventurers the world over. We're developing new features all the time. It's really quite amazing, Kubo. Um, I did platinum that one. Same. I mean, usually I'll throw on a podcast or something, and then I'll just do the grindy bits. Or, you know, back in the day, I used to, you know, have phone calls with friends or whatever, just like chatting on the phone on Final Fantasy VII while running up and down a beach fighting sandworms to gain levels and stuff. So, I don't know. I like a, a bit of grind. Um, alright, see, so, uh, can't wait to try it. Speed runs, lower level runs. Just want to keep tabs on my goal of finding 100% treasure. Yeah, I, I really should start listening to, uh, audiobooks. I don't know why I haven't. It's never come to me before, like, I've never thought about doing it. I listen to a lot of podcasts, but then sometimes I just completely run out of podcasts. Um, and then I'm sitting there trying to think, like, what do I do now? Do so, alright, uh, Manager Floor sure is a beautiful place. Just say, like, alright, just stay out of Mondo's hair. He's a real grump. They say he grew so hateful that he, his whole body turned red. He likes to hang out in that secret northwestern clearing. Anyway, I have a three-piece combo for you today. How about tonic, ether, and middle? Sure. Thanks, buddy. Continue my journey with this money. script you know and i think that's the problem with um audiobooks is i've never I've never found uh, a convenient means of collecting them like something uh a service you know like podcast you find something i use a uh, podcast addict on android where i can just browse by category if i want click a few things and then they just download whatever there's new episodes um or you know i, I follow a couple different podcasts like pretty uh, you know I don't know, a couple of years now, so it's just nice to know that every week, boom, here's another four hours of stuff to listen to. Oh, I didn't even... should double-check. For some reason, I didn't think is the cave. Is there anything? Yeah, there's nothing else in there. So I wonder if I keep on having to talk to Stiltskin and buy his, his uh, packages in order for him to continue forward. Like, if I don't buy stuff from him, I wonder if he won't make it to the next point. If 
feels like a, a good incentive to stay on top of it. My guess is, you know, that the groupings just get better and better as it goes on. Actually, now that you mention, I was just... I don't remember where I got it. I was just listening to an audiobook the other day. It just reminded me that I didn't finish it. Um, I was mowing the lawn, didn't have any podcasts. I'm like, hey, let me see what else I can do. Um, just a Google default app called Playbooks is what I was using. But they had some default or free stuff for me to check out. So I think that's the route I went. Yeah, it was a complete, like, it's definitely not a book that I'd read or listen to by, yeah, it really was. Um, it was effectively, like, almost like a rom-com. Um, I really don't remember what the name of it was, but there was a, a movie a couple, about a decade ago, I guess now, with, uh, I think it was Amy Adams, and she goes to Ireland for something, and then she, I don't remember if she was a reporter or a journalist or something like that, but it was a very similar um, story to that, where it's lady in the, the audiobook I was listening to goes over to um, Ireland for a story that she needs to, I'll we'll go with Viger, Powers Club, um, but a story where she's investigating like the town of romance or something like that. Um, and basically, more or less, she's falling in love with her tour guide, but she also broke up with, or didn't break up with her boyfriend before she left because she left his sister's, or, you know, the day before her sister's wedding to go do this thing because it's her big break at work. So it's, you know, complete uh, forgettable, consumable goodness. Like, I won't think about this story after I finish it, but um, it's still fun. Which made me think, shit, I should probably listen to some audiobooks for things that I am actually interested in, like, outside of this. She fell asleep. I didn't put her... Damn it. I need to put her mask on, that's right. Sprout. That sounds bad. Ow. Or good. For him. Dream flower. Yeah, I need to um, put a mask on her so she doesn't pass out. Alright. Slust defense, but I like not sleeping. Hit losing control of my characters. Yeah, that's... I'm like, I don't know, this is... flowing quite well. Yeah, dude knows his craft, and he definitely knows, um, the source material, that's for sure. Because I'm not sure if you played on Wii, um, actually it might be on the, the PSP version as well, now that I think of it, uh, on Final Fantasy IV, they did the, um, the After Years, the the sequel. Did you play those? It was an episodic sequel to Final Fantasy IV that originally came out on the Wii eShop. Um, and then that was the only place to get it until 
I think the the PSP Complete Collection came out for Final Fantasy IV. Um, and then they threw them on there as well, but... who boy, those are... Those are a tough pill to swallow. You follow through as, like, uh, Cecil and Rosa's kid, and basically the next generation for a bunch of the characters, like their kids, offspring, whatever. Um, sorry, I'm just looking for other items. They're... They are hard to adapt to, especially if you're going straight from uh, Final Fantasy IV into them. Just because they, uh, uh, if you like Grindy, you will be very happy. Because because they were episodic, they made each one so you could play it a lot. Um, I feel like the entire After Years is about 80 hours. I could be wrong. I remember being between 60 and 80 hours, which is crazy considering Final Fantasy IV itself is usually like 15 to 20. Devil's Road should be right around the corner. Oh yeah, there's 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 a lot of meat on those bones. All right, Devil's Road should be right around the corner. Hold on, these guys don't look too friendly. Bet we can trick them into leaving <laughs> by stabbing them. I like the way she thinks. Very funny. I was thinking more along the lines of a distract and flee approach. Either way works. Come on, let's just dive in and see what happens. Let's take a minute to regroup. Can't be too careful. Yeah, I don't know. Let me heal up. Alright. Let's see how this goes. I'm scared. I don't want to die. Wish I could save. <laughs> F5, quick save. Alright, we're ready to rumble. Yep. Yeah, there are some interesting things with, um... With the after years that they do mechanically that... I haven't really seen done elsewhere with Final Fantasy, so... I think you'll enjoy that stuff. Um, tying in with Cycles of the Moon and whatnot, so. It's, it's almost like a, a tinge of Pokemon um, applied to it. Not the collecting aspect, but. I'll take it. Wow, so hit him with a knife. That was easy. I do appreciate them giving me a warning about it, though. Looks like a perfect spot to rest up. Yeah, nice fire pit. I bet the goblins made it. <laughs> well, now it's ours. Oh, uh, should we take a break before we enter Devil's Road? Yes, let's take a break. Sure, why not? We're about to enter Devil's Road, which, if I remember correctly, isn't Devil's Road from Final Fantasy IV as well? Isn't that what connects the, the two towns? We should do this more often. Sorry, I just appreciate a good campfire scene. You know, steel choke will slip away to somewhere place new. Haro, <laughs> we borrowed those chocobos. Whatever you have to tell yourself, bud. It's a huge difference. Do you think that ceiling is wrong no matter what? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Corona Trigger, Campfire, that is good. My... I... I'm trying to think of what other ones, because that one is really damn good. I, it, it might be cheating. But Final Fantasy X... Is probably my favorite. Um, the reason why I'd say it's cheating is because they even open with it. 
Um, so it's the first thing you see of the game is all their weapons around the fires. They're looking at the ruins of Xanarkin and, you know, Titus gives his speech about, you know, this is our last chance. Um, this is my story and it's just like, ah, it's good. So by the time you actually get to it in game, you see what led up to that, but it's starts you with it, which was nice. Um, another really good one is Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, I like my Final Fantasy, sorry. Um, Final Fantasy VII, because that's when they're in Cosmic Canyon. One, the music there is excellent. Two, it's kind of like a regrouping for everyone to just kind of take stock of what's important uh, before they go forward with, you know, the rest of their journey, which was fantastic. Like I said, I enjoy a good campfire scene. Uh, even Shovel Knight. The campfire is nice and peaceful. And then you have dream sequences. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just, I, it's, it is the RPGs that I grew up on. I know there's other ones like Breath of Fire. Um, there's another big one, Dragon Quest. Um, Tales of, you know, another big series. But it just, they all feel like they're not Final Fantasy when I play them. Which is not a good thing. But... They're still good in their own right. Like, I have played a lot of Tales of games, and I enjoy those. Dragon Quest, I've played some of 8. I've never finished it. I And Dragon Quest Builders, which I didn't like at all. Um, Breath of Fire, I think I played 3? Whatever one was on PlayStation 1 back in the day, I think I put like 20 hours into that. Do I think stealing is wrong? No, if you're stealing from someone who... No, I think there's just stealing. Get too carried away with the good guy, bad guy labels. I agree, Locke. People do get carried away. What do you mean? You know, we're the good guys, and it's okay to steal from the bad guys. But you think about those goblins back there. To them, we're the bad guys. You're not wrong there, dude. And you gutted them like a fish. It's all a matter of perspective. Some offenses are much worse than others. Stealing is better than taking someone's life, for example. I guess so, slightly. Death isn't that big of a deal. Ooh, that's not going to age well, Rachel. If only you knew. That'll be the sticking point for Locke. Do you think it is? Are you afraid of dying? Locke? Probably not. Crisp? Yeah. Um, so who am I answering as? If I'm playing as Locke, I'd say he's not afraid of dying. Not really. It's like they say at the end of I Want to Be Your Canary. Dying is easy, living is hard. I Want to Be Your Canary is from Final Fantasy IX, right? So between that and Stiltskin being in here and Mognet, that means that this world is set in a Final Fantasy IX setting as well? That's interesting. That's very interesting. Yeah, death is natural. It's nothing to be afraid of. We have it good. There's nothing quite like the thrill of a treasure hunt. This one might be our best yet. What's your favorite part of this hunt so far? Chocobo bait. Hidden treasure. Spending time with you, gang of goblins. Spending time with you, because I'm a sweetheart like that. Used to be focused on finding the next treasure, not much else, but these days. Lucky that uh, I get to do all of my favorite things with you. <laughs> Are you trying to make me blush? Ooh. I can give her a flower. Bam! Smooth. Like butter. Um, I want you to have this. I found it uh, in here with the forest when you weren't looking. This is incredible. It's actually glowing. I've never seen a flower like this before. These beauties will keep glowing for weeks even after you pick them. I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. Listen. I want to give you something, too. Hmm? A 
I picked this up on my way out of uh, Colling Collingen. I don't like that town name at all. Ooh, a life vine. Wow, thanks. Wait, did you pay for this or? Eh, don't worry about it. That was nice. I like that. That was a really nice little uh, interlude. God, I don't even remember that, so maybe I didn't even play this far into it when I played it before. Our straight route closed. Proceed with caution. Some used to be a preferred trade route between Narsh and the entire west coast. Got kind of dicey, Narsh shielded off. Everybody uses Figaro trade chain now. The only vendor you'll find in this region need anything? Yeah, the art's pretty, really nice. See, I don't have a value or understanding of money in this, so like. Burning hot floor. That sounds important. But I can't sell you anything? Is that a fish? Oh, it's a key item, too. Holy shit. I just. <laughs> I was just playing around. I didn't know I could pick it up. Oh, that's really fun. Because I was sitting here thinking, like, this sucks. I can't actually sell to this guy. I can only buy from him. Um, it's like, how can I get some money, then? Without just going back and fighting a bunch of things. Apparently, I could just catch some fish. Um, yeah, I'm going to get enough money to buy that fire hot floor thing, because that sounds kind of important. Or if I can get multiple fish at once. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Ugh, oh, 12. That's lame. Alright, let me catch one more. If he's gonna keep giving me uh, reduced rates, um, I'll just carry on. I'm not going to get to 2,000 at 12 out of P's. That's way too many fishes. So I'll, I'll come back. Sneaks in. How appropriate. Why, hello, Mori. Just be very sneaky because we have a sleeping sir back here. We wouldn't want to wake him. It's hard to see because he's just the abyss that's in the boat, but... But we are a bunch of thieves running around in dungeons stealing stuff. Ooh, a darter. I wonder what that is. Steal. Could it steal? Why not? Oh shit, I woke him, didn't I? Firefly. That sounds fun. Go back to sleep. I see you stirring. You're lucky I can play this with one hand. Jesus, Rachel's getting wrecked. Alright. Let's give her a medium tonic. Should probably kill that first one then. Ah, oh, good. Maybe I can steal the second firefly. Cool. See you in a bit. Ah, oh, good. He did go back to sleep. He slumped.
may have just wanted to jam his nose into the wall and keep him warm and toasty. So this has gotten a little bit chilly in this neck of the woods. Right, let's see if those fireflies are... Ooh, same damage from back row. Frick, she can't equip it. Damn it. Alright, well, I guess he is going to the back row. Oof, that is, um... That is quite chilly. I think today we got up to, like, 62, which is an improvement over yesterday, so... I'll take it. Actually, how much money do I have? 18. Mandra, single. So Narsh should be closed, so I can't actually go this way. Which to me says, go look for treasure. 55. No, thank you. Goya is no bueno on that. It was 44 the other day, and he was not having it. Yeah, that's what shit. I can't go there. Oh, I need 2,000 gold so I can get the fancy ring that lets me travel there. Is there nothing to kill here for money? Help me! Oh shit, you're gonna be on fire, Moogle. Help, they're gonna get me! Ah, oof. Ah, oh, just don't stand there. Yeah. All right, let's go, dude. Let's go be heroes. Mm -mm. Oh, shit. Lock needs health. Wasn't paying attention. Small tonic riot bracer. Don't know what a riot bracer is, but I think I want one. Oof. I need some health. Alright, let's get some regrowth. We get everyone kind of healed up. Save the baby. <laughs> Bring me the baby. No, the child. Damn it. I'm confusing my things. I was thinking, um... Death Stranding. The baby. The little dudes in the jars, it's creepy. Could not steal. Come on. Just let me steal it. I don't know what it is, but I think I want it because I don't have it. That's how this works, right? Fuck them. You didn't even need my help, dude. You hit things for like nine times the health or damage that I do. Oh, do you join my party now? That'd be excellent. Thanks a bunch for saving me. I'm Malulu, by the way. Future queen of the Moogles. Quite bold of you. Well, you see, my boyfriend is... <laughs> it's kind of a big deal. I mean, it's not a king, per se, but uh, he's sort of the alpha male Moogle in our troop. Yahoo! I've always wanted to pay... Wait, it always pays to slip into the leader's good graces. Uh, favors make the world go round, that's for sure. What's up, Callisti? I just saved a Moogle by going to battle and letting it save itself. So, that's where we're at now. Um, actually, can you do me another favor? I must have dropped my key to the safe room back in one of those burning steam pits. <laughs> Say no more. I don't know a thing or two about unlocking doors without a key. I'm Jill, the master of unlocking. No way! Check this out. <laughs> the lock's just a little rusty, that's all. That's for sure. It's not the lock that's rusty. <laughs> it's the lock that's rusty. I got it. Okay, that's enough. Uh, here, I, I have the situation under control. All it needs is a little bit of... Kapow? Ah! And a wink. Finesse. I loosened it for you. Oh my goodness, you two are so cute together. Maybe one of you can help me just one more teeny tiny favor while you're here? Uh, maybe. What's the favor, bro? 
I got separated from the others when those guards closed off the Narsh access. Now I have to go all the way around to the east side, and our safe room is kind of pointless as a result. Um, can you help me get to the exit on the Sibyl Mountain side of the tunnel? I can get back to Narsh from there. Yeah, sure, we're headed that way ourselves. Uh, we could use the help. Uh, this place is pretty nasty. What a relief, Koopa. Yeah, Molulu in the party. Like I said, this uh, Moogle kicked ass, so I am all for it. Whoa! Wow, she just alpha mailed my party, and uh, now I'm no longer lock and control. I wonder if that's changeable this way. Huh, that's kind of cool. I like that. That's really cool. Um, I don't remember FF6 doing anything like that, so kudos to the uh, Mr. William Cage. But let's get things straight. Locke is my hero. He goes first. love treasures and I also love save points man I don't remember the last time I played a Super Nintendo like proper Super Nintendo RPG it's been a couple years at least I really don't remember I think the last time I played Final Fantasy 6 Christ, that has to have been 20... Oh, 4? 2004, maybe? Maybe? It's been a long time. God, Malulu is fucking stacked with HP. Oh, it's because she's level 10. That dame's coming in hot. I see you. Alright, so I can go up here. Let me steal another fish. Come here, fish. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Yeah, fish. <laughs> Into fishing. So why are you giving me 65 for this fish? Aye, aye, aye. Anyways. Um, yes, I would like to buy... Let me peruse your wares. Ugh, that would be a nice boost, but... Um, protects the party against damage from burning floors. That feels important, so I'm going to buy that. Now that I know where a burning floor is, go over here use a tent for the first time and then I will save um but yeah I'm really enjoying this game did a good job with this so it's silly that I'm kind of excited that it's only like two to three hours too and I like the idea that I can get in and out and have a full experience um I mean honestly within a stream I could probably do this from start to finish then We'll see. Oof. Come on, Molulu. You can do better. Hydrate. Should not do that, bud. But should leave that alone. Start getting in the habit of overcleaning one of his paws. Which is not what I want him doing. Yeah, shorter games, it's 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 nice when you can find one where you can do that. Fuck, I need to equip it. God damn it, Chris. Hmm. Right, a 
run with this. So now, good, not taking damage. I can't pause in the middle of battle, damn it. Oh, pfft. And I just stole the thing I paid 2000 for. Come on. And then it ran away. That's interesting. Cool. Can I sell my old one back to that dude now? I mean, I think technically I could reload my save, but I'm not guaranteed to be able to, one, make it here without dying. Supping on the embers. Two, being able to steal another copy of that. Ooh, treasures. I like to think that means it was worth it. Bronze Helm. Let's see. And also the nice thing about RPGs is uh, you can play with one hand while you uh, keep your cat from doing nonsense. Give them good head scritches. You're so good in that ear. I like that, uh, the Rachel image. Because, I mean, technically, she never had, um... Rachel only appears dead in Final Fantasy VI, I think. Like, sleeping in the cave, which... Oof. Is, uh, I'm sure where this is gonna end. Ah, good. He stopped. Skills. I know. He ain't got the skills to pay the bills and get the heals. Restores SP. I don't think she can use. No. Damn it. I would kill to have a white mage right now. I hate using potions. I feel like I'm gonna run out of them when I need them. Like, I feel like I'm wasting them. But the whole point is to use them, right? Are you enemies? Warriors should have blocked this junction for safety, but these real reasons to stop all these uh, Asili's from coming in? Something going on in Vector, it's not normal for so many people to flee their homeland. Huh, I wonder what that's about. Ooh, bronze mail. Equip body. Yeah, give me five armor. I'm good with that. Nobody's allowed to access Narsh Mines from here. Well, god damn it, why not? I just traveled all this way. My dog was really excited to be here. Now you tell me no. Ugh, fine. I'll go back the way I came. All the freaking health that I've lost. I'd like to think I just converted health into XP. And potions into XP. That's the only way I feel okay about it. Not a lot of XP, actually. I wonder what that's about. There must be some kind of system. Yeah. Poor Doge. Doge. He came all the way and he can't see his Narsh. He's a good boy. Yeah, there must be something tied to um XP and, like, levels. Like, you know, if you're... I should say it doesn't scale properly. Or, you know, as... I'm sure it's working as intended, but, like... 
maybe it's like if you're level 9 and they're level 9, it barely gives you anything, but if you're level 8 and they're 9, that gives you a ton. So it's like, I don't need to see my XP moving now when I kill those things. Doji, doji, doji. Those are good puppers. Can I catch that fish? Give me that flaming fish. Come here, come here, come here, come here. No, they won't let me take the flaming fish. Alright, so we'll save Mo Molulu here. Let me go in and hit up the save point. I'm wondering if I should use... I only have one... Oh, I have two tents. Never mind. No question about it. I'm using it. save because I'm paranoid. I save a lot when I play games. I apologize. Like, generally, if I even if it's like 15 seconds have passed by, if I see another save, I go, ooh, checkpoint. Um, and then I jump all over that. Which in Souls is not such a good thing because I learned the hard way that respawns everything in the world. Bastards. Hmm, what's going on here? Orange stud. What does that do? Raises HP a little. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. I'd rather just die. Actually, I'd really rather not die, but I like having a regen. Keep me at full health since I don't have a cleric. Damn, Locke is a beast in this game. What happens between this and Final Fantasy VI? <laughs> See, now the XP is moving again. Just that guy. That doesn't look fun. Riot Hog. This is probably why they have auto fight in here. Also, it'd be good for uh, grinding. <laughs> yeah, but at least in those, you don't have to actually hit. No, those do. No. You don't have save points in those, is what I was going to say. So, it's not like you see it and then you're like, oh, I better do this while I'm here. So, do you just like constantly hit F5 or whatever the quick save is then? I do know whenever I go into like a cave, like, I haven't, I only played Fallout 3 and I don't remember it that well. I do remember Oblivion and, Oblivion and Skyrim a lot better. Um, and pretty much every time I went to enter a new cave, it's save, save, save. Which is funny too, because I play with the, those games with the slider like far more to the left than I do to the right, as far as the difficulty. I don't know what Flutter does. Let's find out. I know that's sac uh, sacrilegious to you that I've only played Fallout 3, but... Them's the breaks. Oh, I... Th die? Oh, do I just... Is it like jump? This is Flutter. Oh, holy crap. Okay. Well done, Molulu. You don't even need that man, that prince you're trying to hook up with, young Moogle. Smoke bomb. I thought they were going to give me a weapon or something. Another cool thing with this is, um, with it being a, a short game, um,. I have a feeling like enemies, at least so far, seem to have actual items worth stealing. Which is a nice change of pace, because normally, like, you steal and it's a potion, and that's it. But, like, when you steal and it's actual, like, weapon or armor or something like that. Ooh, it's a door! I like doors. 
There's so much I want to explore right here, but let me go check out this door. Oh, I wish I knew if this was the optional way or the required way. Ah! Get away from me. I'm not ready. Damn it. I, I don't know where to go. Alright, I'm going to go back up through here. Make sure I explored everything I should up here. Oh, shit. I fight these things. I thought those were fish. I didn't realize it was these stupid things. Mm. Ah, well. Well, Lulu just got banged up a little bit. Sorry, princess. Kind of... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I kind of like the... Being able to see the enemies. Versus just doing random encounters like uh, most Super Nintendo uh, Final Fantasies. Four, five, and six, specifically. Dunner. Are we a wrestler now? What is that? Keeping it PG. Um, stun an enemy and temporarily prevent it from taking action. Okay, so as it stuns, sounds. Nothing here. Okay. Huh. Oh yeah, that's what, right. There's this down. Oh, it's just a stilt skin. Gotta pluck one of those lizard scales, but they're too quick. Do you wanna buy a tent, medium tonic, and ether for 555? Yeah. You got a deal. Hey, and I got a scale I can give you, dude. A little bit of danger is good sometimes. Makes me feel so alive. I'm gonna fucking start, like, freebasing? What the hell are you talking about, dude? Alright. don't know how far I am from the nearest save point, so I don't want to get too brave with these battles. I need a very close bonfire for me to feel safe. I don't know the shortcut back. Cupidity? What is cupidity? One battles XP to GP. That's a weird skill. I kind of dig it, though. Um, but I also like XP, so... Ah, fuck. I forgot about that guy already. Come on, kill. Yes. the rivers flow with the blood of the riot hogs. Is it okay to steal a man's life? Yes. Yes it is, Rachel. It's also okay to steal a goblin's life. Kill, kill, kill. Flutter skill is so weird. I wonder if it makes him impossible to hit for that first round, too. Yeesh. Yeah, I'm gonna need a tent soon. Bro, you just wasted our medium tonic on him? Maybe this auto-attack isn't a good idea. I thought it was just auto-attack, I didn't know it was auto-fight. But I didn't know they were gonna use my items. Because, like, Rachel could really use a heal right now, Locke. Someone didn't use the good tonic on, uh, the Moogle. Let's hope I can kill this thing and then just heal outside of battle. Yes. Okay, good. <sighs> Running so low on items. So, which means I should not be exploring, but I really like to explore and get free or cool shit. Technically, I can sneak around this fucker, can't I? God, nope. Nope, can't sneak around him. 
six engine volume one worth a fortune which that did not exist on twitch so i had to list it as final fantasy six so i find it hilarious if someone came in via uh twitch randomly thinking they were watching final fantasy six and just like i don't recognize any of this that would make my day if that happened And if you're in this, you know, watching this, uh, and that's you, I apologize. Did not mean to confuse you, but Six Engine was not listed, so I had to put something. But I do find that funny if they'd be like, wow, I don't remember this part at all. Ah, get away from me, you... I ain't got time for your sh... Meh. Damn it! I thought I left a gap between me and it. Whoa, 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 why is locking the front row? Oh shit, that's not good. He must have ch That mother lover changed his own position when I put him on auto battle. That's right, I wasn't paying attention. You idiot. No, wait, you are in the back row. Why did it look like you're in the front row? Alright, whatever. Just hoping I can make it to the next, um save point. It's getting a little dicey. Oh, I can... I can play dress up with the Moogle? I didn't know that. Totally would have been dressing you up. And I should have changed that. Damn it, I'm just... Not operating at all c cylinders right now. Alright, let's see. Firefly, don't have... I do have something, but I need that to attack from the back row. Rachel, don't have any better weapons. Lower battle power, higher speed. Alright. Ooh, a flower. And I can't pick it this time. But that's a good sign. It means we're almost outside. Yes! Sabio Mountains. And more importantly, a save point with a tent. Oof. Sweet relief. Wish I, oh, you guys almost let me leave without saving. How dare you? Don't you know you're babysitting me right now? Hey, I saw that. Hmm? No medicines allowed. Master will kick you out. You're juicing? Yeah? Master will never know. Your muscles are interfering with your brain activity again. My mind is clear. and My muscles are endless. Raw! Raw! <laughs> oh, shit. What was that? Sense of great energy. Master must be near. Let's get out of here! <gasps> I'm unstoppable now. Yeah, the background is actually really rich. Man, I wish I knew that they were juicing over here. I wouldn't have wasted my tent. God bless it. <gasps> it's a pupper! Woof. Oh shit, it's a bad pupper. That's not a pupper at all! It's not even a doggo. That's just. That's no bueno. That's what that is. Why aren't you on the front line, Malu? You're a bit like a brick house. And you're level 11. You should definitely go on the front.
bronze helm. Oh, he changed all the sprites. Yeah, he, um... To my knowledge, from what I've gathered, this is 100%, like, he rebuilt all of this. Like, none of this was stripped out assets. So everything is, you know, open for improvement, if you will. Ah, that's fucking evil dogs again. Wolves. And a rock wolf. That's not gonna be good. Skill... What does a rock wolf have? I bet you have some cool shit to steal. Oh, come on, Rachel. Ah, uh, yes, this is the Mother 2 sequel called... Mother... Something? This is called Mother Lover? <laughs> You're a mother lover. That's funny. I just now thought of that. Oh, I'm slow. Howdy, Davy. You filthy mother lover. Yeah, I was looking at it before the, um, the stream. Aside from what I told you already, uh, on the website, that game, uh, Onasan, that they're making is also coming to Switch next year. Uh, like quarter three, so. Um, it'll be available on PC. I think he was saying quarter three or four this year. Um, so if you're not picky about what you play it on. But the other thing that I was noticing. Hang on on that, Jesse. I will come back to that because I feel guilty. Um, but the other thing I was noticing uh, with. Onasan is with it coming to switch my guess is that the problem with this is that this has um, copyrighted characters like I'm playing as Locke alongside a Mog with Rachel we're going to known locations on Final Fantasy 6 but the Onasan game that he was working on it looks like it's 100% original so it's done in the style of um, Mother slash Earthbound but for all intents and purposes, it's 100% its own game. Therefore, you can actually sell it and uh, get, you know, money for his work. Which I always support. I like people getting paid for their time and effort. Um, so, wait, what is this that I just got then? Sorry, I'm trying to see, um, this wolf bracer. Oh, it's a shield. Weird. What is it called? Ah, there we go. Alright, so, uh, but yeah, Onasan, um, text me or something, uh, if you, this, but this game, by the way, is being played from 6engine.com, uh, you can play it, it's free, and that's also where Onasan is, and I believe they have a demo available for it, I don't know how long that is, um, but that is free for the demo so far, so you can see what's going on. So, Fantasian, love the game, love the music. I'm eight hours in and I have not played it because I want to, I got sidetracked with some other stuff. Um, and it's one of those games that fully, if I'm not 1000% into at the time, I don't want to waste playing it. Oof, this could be bad. I don't want to waste playing it on me being in a bad mood. Because I can only play it once, you know, for the first time. So, much rather be into it and in, in the zone and connecting to it. Um, versus just kind of like, oh, I guess I'll play. Yeah, exactly. Holy fuck. Get out of there. <laughs> that AOL chat thing, that does take me back. Wow, I just got curb stomped. Um, hang on one second. I want to see if I can reload. Controls, no. Hang on. I don't know what this is going to do. Alright, so... Um, I'll jump back into that game in a second, so it looks like it does let me load my last hit. There's a battle speed forward, I didn't know that. 
Yeah. Boy is napping again. Let's see, so uh, so uh, Orosan is what it's called. Um, so there's playable teaser and then first day demo. So those options are available to you if you do want to check it out. Um, where was that at? So once again, this is all just on sixengine.com. Um, and then when you land there, it kind of shows you his music site because he does a bunch of other um, inspired game music too. But then, boom, Otosan from William Cage. Looks very familiar, doesn't it? Um, so I thought that should be pretty cool. Um, completely free, made from scratch, multiple platforms, support for Switch is planned. So it looks like it's going to be cool. I'd recommend you check it out sometime. Um, knowing that you enjoy yourself some Earthbound slash Mother. All right, so going back to this. Let's see, Dark Void, that is Goya. Yeah, that AOL chat thing. That was, honestly, I played that before I knew what Final Fantasy VI was. So, checking save data. So I can just pick up where I left off. Cool. Uh, hopefully I didn't get everyone beat being to death by a bear. Um, yeah, 13 Sentinels is a fantastic game, Jesse. Ugh, damn it, I have to remap my controls. Sorry. Didn't know that. Um, up, down, left, right. Left trigger, confirm, cancel, menu. Switch and right trigger. All right, so that is all set. Let's get back and we uh, let's get some action going. You now it's actually weird. It's actually hold on one second. So the screen's actually coming in dimmer. Uh, what you're seeing versus what I'm seeing, but it doesn't allow me to tint it or anything. So I apologize. It actually does look um, a little bit cleaner if you play it yourself like it, it pops more and don't have any options to really fix that so I apologize but trust me All right uh, neither I am using a DualShock 4 um, because originally when I set up my computer to play PC games uh, was in the peak of uh, PS4 and I bought this very fancy purple controller because I thought it was very pretty. Um, and I've had no regrets. So, good thing. I also got it because uh, originally I did not have a PS2 like I do now. Um, and I wanted to do PS2 emulation. And this this was the closest thing to feeling like a PlayStation 2 controller. No, you're fine, man. It's I do this to hang out. So, like, whether I'm playing this game or not, I'm fine. I'd much rather chat. Uh, then play the game to be honest but but that's usually not that interesting um, for everyone else and I'm distracted easy but yeah 13 Sentinels doesn't get as weird as you I lie it gets weird um, but it's fun the entire time I know I think Davey finished it so, Davey, don't say anything if you did, spoiler-wise, because uh, Jesse's not even started it. Oops, not Phoenix Down Tent. I only have one of them. Shit. Um... Gotcha. So you did not finish it. Um, yeah, the game's fantastic, and it just... It's... It's just fantastic. Um... Come on, let me keep going. Oh, shit. Uh, well, that could be the start or the middle or the end of the game that you're playing, Davey. <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, uh, where nothing makes sense. That is the start, the middle, and the end of the game, so... I haven't um, played Lost Sphere at all. How was, uh... I know nothing about that. That was, uh... The... Ah, I'll see you, Dave. Have a good night. Um... Wh what's the... the What with Lost Sphere? 
Because that was one of the the RPG factory games that Square put out, isn't it? Like, uh, I Am Satsuna and stuff. Go kick that bear's ass now. Bring it on! I'm not gonna bother stealing from you because I know he just got a potion. Goy is coming back. You lost your step. Oh my god, he hits hard. Oh, Goya, you're hard to see around. You've got a slightly big head. Nice hit. I don't know what Ambush does. Probably should have read about that. Oof. Good hit. I'll read that in a second. Sorry, I want to focus on this fight. I do want to hear what you're saying for Lost Sphere. Um, because that was something that I was... Ah, uh, Rachel down. I was interested to play, but then I'm dubious for that RPG factory. Oh, she gets no XP. That sucks. I really hope that, uh, juice that they have outside resurrects. Yes, it does. Good job, Goya. Yeah. Alright, it beat God of War for my game of the year. Yeah, just a tight battle system and engaging story with mechs and shoes. Uh, the writing is plenty, but had me at every moment 28 hours. Awesome. That's cool. I didn't even know there were mechs in that. So is that similar to any... um? Because usually those, they, they try and kind of like tap into a, a previous game. Because I know I Am Setsuno is more like a, a Final Fantasy slash Chrono Trigger is what they wanted to make it. Um, and then there was something before Lost Sphere, but after I Am Setsuna. Um, so anyways, what I was getting to, so the Lost Sphere, was there anything in specifically that was inspiring that, or is that just 100% its own thing? This up since Goya is just demanding love, so. Fourth, oh, okay. That's definitely something I can get behind then. Um, I still haven't played God of War. There's, it, last year's not been uh, a lot of free time for me, so um, there's the last couple years I should say there's been there's been too much life going on and not enough uh, fun. So, um, like I've missed out on all of the big games. So like God of War is something that I have not even touched yet. Despite I own it, um, with uh, the PS5, like that was one of the free games they gave out. So, um, I apologize. I know there's no game going on right now, but he is he is dying for attention. So, and what the old man wants, the old man gets. See, God of War. I haven't played any of the Tomb Raider since the last one. I'm trying to remember, there was a couple other big ones. Like, I want to say I just got to Spider Man last year. That was, I think, 2018 when that first came out. And that was big. There's a couple other games I, I know I'm missing. I just can't think of them. But I know God of War is on that list. I hate The Last of Us, so I'm never playing that. Um, so I'm never playing The Last of Us 2. I don't hate it, I just, I, I don't get on with it at all. I tried the first one, and got like 20% of the way through, and just, I don't know. I was forcing myself to play, because everyone talked about how good it was. But I didn't like the gameplay, and I don't like zombies. Or, you know, that, uh, zombie equivalents, I don't know what the hell they're actually called in that game, but... Um, I just recognize that that game is not for me and just moved on. Are you 
good now? Can I play my game? Are you contented? Alright. Clear off some of this hair that you just left everywhere. Because that was you, not me. Alright. So where, where are we at? Alright, so we think we might be at that, um, the point, uh, where are we at? Yeah, Kalisti, I'm pretty sure, uh, that grind we were talking about earlier is, might, might hit that for a minute. Might add a, a level or two to my people, tearing up these timber wolves. And you might get some Goya breathing on the mic, I'm not sure. He's very interested in what's going on with it. Yeah, I just, right now I feel like I'm getting by from, you know, the skin of my teeth or the seat of my pants, whatever your preferred expression is, but I don't feel very comfortable with my odds if I were to get into a boss battle right now. Because this bear just wrecked my ship pretty hard uh, more than once, so... what this does. Race, speed, and evasion. I'm, I'm good with that. Flutter. That'll be my two-part hit. Oh, that's a cool spell effect. I like that. Alright, so skill. Faint reduces enemies' defense. Yeah, we'll do that too. Capidity. Raises own... Yeah, whatever. Ooh. Yeah, I should. Play. Using this also the, the opportunity to play around with skills. Um, because I have not been using them as much as I feel like I should. Well, I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. Oh, that's a lot of it. Just way more down than I thought it was. Let's tilt this back. Okay, there we go. Can I steal? Yes, medium tonic. I do like the idea of stocking up a little bit on medium tonics while I'm also getting levels. That went a lot better. Oof. Yeah, I'll get them both to 12 and then I'll, I'll continue on on our journey. Yeah, I'll have to keep an eye out for Lost Sphere going on sale again then. Minx, if you got recommendations. If you're comparing it to Final Fantasy 4 through 6, you have my attention. Oh, you're talking about like a physical copy. Not a bad idea. I always just think, for whatever reason, like, as I am Setsuna was digital only. Or at least I thought it was. Um, I just always assume that I gotta download these things. Cupidity, Numbra. Yeah, we'll just go with Fight now. Goya is sitting directly in front of the screen now. Uh, he is not caring for me uh, doing this right now. It's hilarious. I don't know why he's getting so grumpy. Been hanging out with him all day. not cheap to get North American physical. Yeah, I I don't know. I'm still on the fence with the whole physical versus digital thing. Um, Because honestly, like, during the PS4 era, I just, I went full digital with, like, anything I wanted. Like, uh, initially, for the first year, I think I was buying, like, disc, and then I told myself I'm just going to buy disc for RPGs or games like that that I feel are going to be worth it. Um... AKA they're not gonna lose resale value, which just is unrealistic and moronic. Um, so it's just one of those things where since 
then, since I had that thought, I switched over to digital only on PS4. So, you know, I have like six years of just, you know, buying shit digital. And then when the Switch came out, ugh, 50 digital is insane. Um, when the Switch came out, then I started buying physical games on Switch because I like the idea of having it as an archival system. That way I can go back and play games whenever. Uh, Switch to me is 100% a handheld. It's not a console. So, and I have been keeping physical copies for my Game Boy Advance, um, DS, and 3DS. So, for Switch, it felt like a natural continuation of that. But then there started to be a lot of games that are both Switch and PS4. So then it's like, well, do I get the PS4, which is the better version, or do I get the Switch one for the archive? Um, so then I, whatever, isn't a, a mental pickle as far as that goes. Um, but then I opted to, for PS5, I'm only going to do physical copies. So, mostly because the hard drive limitations of the PS5 were, it's only got like 670 gigs available. Um, and instead of re-downloading stuff over and over and over, I'd rather just have access to it via disk to install if I want to replay something. But I mean, the other thing too is like, I really don't replay games either. So it's, I don't know what the perfect solution is for me. Like I do replay some games, I shouldn't say that, but I'm also not big into collecting games. So what I mean by that is Game Pass is almost a good idea for me. But then it's not because I don't like how Game Pass games disappear. Cry at the end credits. Uh, I need to play. So I need to play it. I have heard good things. Which game? Oh, you're talking about Lost Sphere. Sorry, I didn't realize. Oh, it's Callisti. I don't know. It maybe one of you two know. Um better than I do for Switch, like, is there, or not Switch, hey, hey, for Twitch, is there a reason, like, some people's names are green, and then sometimes people's are blue, and then sometimes they're red, I don't know what the difference is, or, like, if it's just controlled by the user, <sighs> last game I cried during the end credits, oh, is Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII? Uh, weeped like a baby for about 15 minutes straight after I finished that game. Um, that game is so brutal. Um, yeah, I think I think that's the last time I cried during a game. So that was circa 2010-ish. Kingdom Hearts 3 had me very close. Uh, there was definitely some overwhelming feelings going on there for a minute uh specifically with the ending i i shouldn't say the ending but the final chapter or act if you will when everything is coming together um i've never played red dead one or two i played or sorry wait red dead revolver i played red dead redemption i did not Yeah, Kingdom Hearts 3, towards the end, there's there's characters from other uh, other Kingdom Hearts games that play a heavy part in the ending, um, and it's just one of those things where I always thought I was the only person who liked this character, um, so I didn't think that they would get the payoff that they did, so I was very excited and broken when that happened. I think I should only have to fight this bear like two more times. Cow wrangling. Do I want to know what that is? Was it an actual cow that got wrangled? I, d I really don't know anything about Red Dead other than the end. Um, with the shootout, because, like, every, every, anything, any list regarding, like, 
worst endings and like you know most heartbreaking endings in games and stuff always bring that one up so <laughs> gotcha so it wasn't necessarily a story moment it was just actually the game itself is what broke you I got gotcha. you Yeah, my, my brother, at the time that came out, couldn't play it because his dog lost his shit whenever there was an animal on screen in any video game. So he, he could play Red Dead no problem up until he tried to get on a horse. And then as soon as he started walking on the horse, his dog would just lose its fucking mind at the screen um, to the point of where he just had to stop playing the game. So... He, he never finished, and that's, that's probably the closest exposure I have to playing a Red Dead game. Or, I shouldn't say that. I played Red Dead Redemption 2 for the first two hours or something like that, which I don't even think I finished a tutorial at that point. The game is so slow moving. Alright, everyone's 13. Let me hit up that heal water save and then I will continue on my adventure. I feel I feel comfortable now. Damn, Kyle should have just done what they were told. So I don't think I'm going to finish this in the the 2 to 3 hours that Mr. William Cage has quoted. But I am enjoying my time with it. Which is all that matters. Ah, oh, fuck, it's another bear. Wish I'd known that beforehand. Would I just leveled up on this guy? Let's do this. Stun him. So this is kind of cool. So I can do the stun on him while I can buff my group, debuff him, and then that sets me up for a good encounter. I don't remember um, Final Fantasy VI well, but I don't remember the enemies having their own health bars. And I kind of, I, I dig that. Actually just seeing that where this dude's health is as an individual. Try for me years of playing MMOs. Shit, I might not even have to go back. And, oh, no, I'm gonna have to go back and heal after this. Really need to see what's in that chest, though. Yay! Bronze mail. Can anyone equip that? Because you're already wearing it. Ooh, Rachel can. The Moogle can wear a dress, but not bronze mail. Okay. Let's see, so that's set. I'm gonna run back and heal. Because I'm a coward. And then I can carry on. Good thing this music is awesome. Yeah, good music is key for an RPG. I mean, the amount of time you spent living with the game, you need it to sound right. Hey, what's up, buddy? Mogsy. Oh my, is it really you? It's it's really you, Malolu. Oh dear, oh dearie dear. You've been worried sick, Koopo. You must join the others. Uh, just past the South Clearing. Yes, go south, past the clearing where Master... Harcourt trains the students, then east to the cliffs. Please be careful. Uh, once you get there, Magan and Mogul will escort you back to Narsh. I don't want to lose her, though. I like having another party member. It's, I'm not okay with this, dude. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I got stuck. Tent. Okay. 
Hey, it's Siltskin. It's very dangerous in this part of the mountains. Maybe that's why those martial arts students are always doing their training out here. Seems like each one of those guys has a different specialty. Have you even seen one of those muscle heads turn a wild bear into a docile pet? Well, today I have a rare piece of equipment that will keep you feeling great, even if monsters nip at you. It's called Life Vine. I don't have 5,555 GP. Yeah, I would like to buy it, but I don't have enough GP. Well, see, now I'm worried that it's not going to show up later. Ugh, whatever. I'm not going to worry about it. Don't even know how much more of this game there is. Alright. Survival Trial. Martial Arts Master Duncan Harcourt to test of student strength. Phantom Rush. I think I know what that is. See a treasure chest. Ugh, not enough gold, almost. Phantom Rush! Mm. Oh, I thought so, fucking Vargas. You know. Hmm? If you're trying to be discreet about practicing that forbidden move, I'm just meditating. Oh yeah? Then why do you have your oh so obedient little carnivore cub with you? He's meditating too. Liar! Oh, I've seen you wait for sunset when you think that nobody is watching. You seem to think these energy bursts will blend with the sun setting. Or setting sun. Uh, but these failed attempts of yours, they can only, they can be seen from clear across the continent. Look what you've done. You've disturbed his meditation and scared him off. Nonsense. You need to learn how to be patient. Uh-oh. Duncan's getting involved. Looks as we are missing someone. Here, Master. Today I have a special task for each of you. Focus your minds. Focus on this moment. Breathe in. Breathe out. Go to the Sabeel Valley. See to it that... Uh, see to it that all may enjoy safe passage through it. Yes, Master. Listen to the wisdom of the wind and let the whisper warmth and patience to you. As you wish, Master. And I want you to get rid of every vial of medicine that you have stashed away. No problem. <laughs> uh, first, however, we must address our interlopers. Where? I can sense them. No more hiding. Listen, we don't want to cause any trouble. We're here because we saw a bright light near Mount Colts. Always seems happening while the sun is setting. What can you tell us about this phenomenon? Long ago, there was a great force that flowed freely through all living things. So-called magic was common as the air we breathe. Some say that it never left this world. But these are merely rumors, isn't that right, Vargas? Yes, indeed, Master. Uh, the greatest minds of Desert Kingdom Figaro call such things uh, Numena. They cannot truly be known or observed. Grr, why is Master playing along with this lie? Clearly, you're on the hunt for wondrous things. I am not accepting new students at the moment, but I will grant you one sparring session of your choosing, and then my students must get to work uh, on their task for today. Allow me to heal your wounds with ancient technique. Join my party. Uh, now then, how would you like to train? Oof. 
I mean, it's go big or go home, right? All four at once? I don't want to fight. Ally one against two, fight one. I guess oh, I, I did just save, so let's see how bad this goes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna regret this. Oh, uh, this is gonna be different from. This is uh, Final Fantasy VI. Haven't you ever seen it before? Wow, this is gonna end very poorly. Rachel's already down to 20. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to be able to beat all four. That, that's... This is gonna end very, very, very quickly and very... And you heal? Shit. Uh, this, this game is called Six Engine Volume 1, Worth of Fortune. It is a fan-made love letter to Final Fantasy VI in the form of a prequel. No, this is not a ROM hack. This is an actual game uh, made from the ground up by a gentleman named William Cage. K-A-G-E. It's in the lower right corner of the screen. Um, fuck, Rachel's dead. But uh, I got it. You just joined me like in the middle of a really fucked up fight that I put myself into. So, and super secret medicine. Oh, really? That dude on the top left looks like Vaughn from FF12. And yeah, I'm not going to win this fight at all. Um, that was a mistake. So when I went to MAGFest uh, a couple years ago, uh, dude was selling a soundtrack for this, where it's an FF6 prequel, but he made the soundtrack for it, and he made the game, he made the engine. I'm just letting my characters die at this point. Um, but it's just full on, sorry, I'm trying to tilt this, but it's just a browser based game where you can just play through a couple different chapters of it. Um, it's clear that you are not ready for this level of difficulty. Perhaps these will help you grow. Sepia tickets? Alright, students, time to get to work. Farewell, travelers. Remember to heed all that is around you. Peace of mind through presence of mind. But yeah, this is a prequel to Final Fantasy VI. Huh, that's fun. Level up a single character. I'm greedy. It just all goes to lock. Um, but it's an original soundtrack too, which is awesome. Original soundtrack. He built the engine, so it's not just a ROM hack. So, you know, the um, Kalisti was pointing out earlier, like, the, the foliage and, like, actual setting is, you know, enhanced from what we know as Final Fantasy VI. this. I, what? Oh, it gives me that treasure chest, I guess. Alright, trial will test your might. You will not be awarded XP or GP after battle. If you leave the area, you want to start over. Sure. Um, but the game, it's been a hoot so far. It's Supposedly two to three hours. Uh, it's broken into different parts. Only the first part is complete, and then there's a demo for the second part uh, that I think is like 15 to 20 minutes right now.
But as the story goes so far, uh, Locke and Rachel... Um, I'm not sure. I mean, just like this, I kind of decided on a whim. Really, the only thing I'm consistently doing, Jesse, is I'm tr just trying to do RPGs that, that fall between Super Nintendo and PlayStation 2. As currently... Um, currently my only restriction that I'm putting on myself. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to be playing. I mean, I'm playing this right now. Honestly, I'll probably finish this. Hell, I might, I'm already going past my stream time. I might just stay up and finish this tonight, to be honest, on the stream, whether you want to hang out or not. Um. That's a new song. I don't know that one. That's not on uh, the soundtrack that I bought. Uh, Pocky, if you want to play this, though, it is just if you go to 6engine.com, um, it's available to play there. It's a browser based game. You don't have to download anything, it all plays right in the browser. It looks like they have touch controls enabled, so you probably can play it on a tablet or a phone if you wanted to. Um, I, I'm playing it on, you know, a browser on PC, so I'm using a, a controller. It's a cactuar! Oh, I get it. I have to save that. Oh shit, what did I do? Oops, I did something you definitely should not have done. I've only played Wild Arms on um, Vita. And I did not play much of it because I, I was not getting on with that game at first. God damn, this cactuar is going to be the death of me, isn't it? Hey, I've never played Wild Arms. I do want to play Legend of uh, Dragoon a bit. Um, but I was talking with someone else about it. The problem I have with these... Um, with playing RPGs on here is... Like, I don't necessarily want to play through... 60 hours or 30 streams of just one game so try and find a good balance of like playing and keeping it interesting and you know highlighting different stuff so that's what you know thinking like maybe do one per like maybe Tuesdays I just for a month I stick to the same game or maybe I do one game per week I don't know I'm still trying to find a, a, a balance for that but like I was saying earlier I just like to hang out so um really the game is irrelevant to me it's really what's interesting for you so like yes i do want to play Leg legend of dragoon at some point in my life i don't know if necessarily playing that on stream is the ideal thing to do considering that's like a 60 hour game water ran low straw is no longer working I mean, really, the only time limit I have is when Goya and Coconut decide, decide to start screaming at me. Um, but as you can tell right now, he seems to be quite content. Thrillville? I don't even know what that is. Final wait. Yeah, let's do this. I see. I've never heard of that. I know Thrill Kill, which is uh, a fighting game that is sexually charged, that is the basis for what became, um, oh, what is that game called? The, the Wu-Tang Shaolin Enter, whatever. The Wu-Tang fighting game, the four-player fighting game on PS1. I forget what the name of that one was. Shaolin style, maybe? Wu-Tang Shaolin style? 
Maybe that's what that one was. I have not encountered an exploder. I am not excited because I know how that usually ends. But I would like to steal some shit from him. Oh, I'm getting greedy. Why don't you guys yell at me? And tell me to let it go. Just kill it. Just kill it, Chris. Don't worry about stealing from the bomb. Okay, good. I wonder if there's going to be ten... Oh, really? Oh, this is going to take forever. I need to kill that uh, Mandragora or whatever in the back. Yeah, man, Dragora. Which I'm not sure if you're familiar, but that is definitely the sprite from, or the uh, a sprite coming from Final Fantasy XII. Oh yeah, that dude's gotta die. He just cast a freaking heal on these cactuars. That's not good. I could deal with them doing ten damage a piece, I think. Skill ambush. Let's see if we can blast the dude into to death. Let's raise my evasion. Yes. Okay. Good. I feel much better about this fight now. Should just focus on killing things, shouldn't I? Why don't you guys ever have my back and talk me out of stupid ideas? I don't even know what a cactus needle does. But I'm just thinking, ooh, I want it. I don't know what it is. It must be good. Playing a ROM hack? Something like that. I mean, you know I just have bad ideas in general, so you should just... You don't even wait for me to move and just say, Chris, don't. Just focus. Come on. Get it together. <sighs> but I don't know what these needles are, so they excite me, so I want them all. Oof. That was a hit. Oof. Stop beating up Rachel. I need her. She's not supposed to die until the conclusion of the game. Spoilers? I'm just going off of uh, in Final Fantasy VI, she's dead, so. So she has to die at some point. Can you get me some food? Maybe some Taco Bell or something? Don't really know what's open at 948, Goya, so... Might be Slim Pickens for you. Nice! That's a skill, cast Faint. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still laughing at Pocky coming in. I beat this four times. This is not Final Fantasy VI, goddammit. What is this malarkey? Ah, oh, shit, there's another wave. Oh, it's two fucking bears. Or, shit. Or, uh... Let's get that going. Y'all need to do something about these bears ASAP. Get off my lawn. 
I can't help it. There's two bears on your lawn. I need to be here. What are you going to do against bears otherwise? Stone Cold Stunner. Alright, so Rachel... Aura. Let's get some regrowth on the party. Skill Ambush. Distraction Hams. <laughs> uh, that would be helpful right about now. Alright, before I attack the second one, I need to have Locke hit it with a thing that drops their defense. Alright, I guess you're on to attack mode, Rachel. Oh, shit. Um, it's my first time running out of uh, SP. Forgot that was even a thing. Please don't maul. Go south very quickly if you start mauling. Shit, I should have healed Rachel. I don't know what I was thinking. I want her getting that fat XP's. Alright, good. I think we might be stable. I don't know if this is the last fight or not. Cool. I'll see you, Jesse. Have a, have a good night. Enjoy your, your Ford and Ferraris. I hope that the Ford wins. I don't know how that movie ends. I just, you know, like I said, from Detroit, got to root for Ford. Nice hit. Go, Rachel. Go, Rachel. Go. Most impressive. I don't know why I made him Darth Vader there. You have done well. Final task here is to take a leap of faith. What do you mean take a leap? Remember to heed all that is around you. Peace of mind through presence of mind. No, I want the treasure chest. Money! Wow, it's good to know that's all freaking monks care about. It's fucking money. Leap of faith. That's right, I'm going Spider-Verse on you. Take it off. Yellow stud. Let's see what's going on with this yellow stud. How much though? So right now she's at 285. Four seventy-three. That's a little that added over hundred HP. It's like thirty percent jump. Yes, save. Well worth my time. Oh, more leaps of faith. He said, "Take a leap of faith, not multiple." That's probably going to come useful later. Sirocco Kukri. The only reason I know what a Kukri is is from playing Secret of Mana. Damn, that is a upgrade. Actually, no, I think a Kukri I had those in EverQuest as well, but fantasy games nonetheless. Speed, big jump. Battle power, massive jump. Evade, good jump. I am digging it. Rachel is very happy that we took those chances back there. Can I stand in the sunlight or no? No. Alright, let's see. Jump down. Let's kill this bug. 
Ooh, it's a special bug. I'm gonna steal from you. Medium tonics, a good start. She keeps. Oh my god, you steal my your health. Drain fly. That is a weapon I am excited to use. Assuming I don't die here. Oh, it's a distinct possibility, I'm afraid. Hopefully I can just stun enough to debuff it. And then this fight will be okay. Faint, let's reduce its defense. Ugh, he's got a shit ton of health, too. It's not good. Regrowth might not even be worth it, girl. This dude's taking HP off me like, whoa. Yeah, keep hitting lock. He's. He can take it. Let's do some ambush. I don't think there's a point in stealing anymore. Probably only has one drain fly on him. Nice! Good hit. Oof, unfortunately good hit. Alright, skill. Let's do another ambush on him and put this fucker into the ground. Chaching. Ooh. Empress pin. I'm assuming that is going to be for her. So defense drops a ton. Evade goes up a bunch, though. Fuck it. We'll roll, roll the dice. And let's switch this Firefly for a Drain Fly. Attack enemy to recover HP. Same damage from back row. God, that's beautiful. Beautiful little uh, perk. See, like, it's hard to see on the screen that uh, you guys are watching, but, like, on the game proper, I really wish you could see this, but the brightness is way up, so, like, I can hardly see the cave on, um, what you're seeing, like, that entrance, but on the actual browser, it looks so much crisper. Fuck, there's bears? Oh, I know where this is at. Nice! This makes me happy because there's a heal and a save point. Wow, they made, uh, or I should say he, William Cage, made a nice little dungeon here. Like, we just hung out in this area for like an hour. Um, and it doesn't seem like it's that many screens, but you know, between having going back and forth and exploring and... Got some good use out of these assets. Oh, hello, good sir. I have plenty of money. I will gladly buy your life vine. Stilt skin. Till we meet again. Which, Pocky, if you're still uh, hanging out, they do, they, um, he, I keep on saying they, but he's taken a couple different things from Final Fantasy and kind of threw them in here as well. Uh, Stiltskin being from Final Fantasy IX, uh, as well as the Mognet in general. So, that's been pretty cool. And then there were some enemies that I saw that were from Final Fantasy XII with a Mandragora. And we took the Devil's Road to get here, which was pulled from, or at least the term I should say is pulled from Final Fantasy IV. So, it's just a nice little a grab bag of a little bit of everything that's tasting delicious Final Fantasy. Ooh, he sells me some stuff. Hmm. Mog's about to leave me, so I don't think I want to buy anything for them. So Brawler Cap will push. Yeah, I'll buy that for her. I have two tents, so I'm good with that. Got those. Ooh, not that many. 
Let me buy five medium tonics. That'll make me feel safe. Alright, so equip her with... Damn it, that's right. That's... That was a waste of money. Whatever, I'll put on Mog for now. Maybe, maybe Mog will stay with me longer than I think. Or, well, Lulu, not Mog. Mount Colts. Very close to Sabeel Valley, it should just be the east of your damn it. Sure thing, we'll explore that path Mount Colts after that. Ah, I don't want to lose Molulu. Maybe there'll be an excuse for her to keep traveling with me. Alright, before we get to that, I am going to get some more water because I need to stay hydrated. So, one minute. I will be right back. for me. Of course, one L. Zip it, genius. Er, I mean, well, of course, you are well. What's going on here? What's with the big secret, Koopa? Nothing. You fucking liars. Excuse us for just a moment, Koopa. Can't let her know that Mogsy's still out there. Right, there'll be no worry, need to worry about him. Wait a second, did you say the name Malulu earlier? I can't let her know about that either. Hey guys. You didn't go far enough away for privacy. <laughs> we heard everything. Yeah. That's true, we did, but no worries. Old Mogsy is our finest scout. He has a bunch of experience staying out of harm's way. So we can go home? Yeah, in fact, uh, one of Duncan Sunas is clearing a path for us in the valley. And I am out of here. Wahoo! Wait up. Wahoo! What about you, Malulu? Well, gosh, sure has been fun traveling with you. And remember, if you ever are in that Narsh region and need some help, we Moogles will be here for you, or there for you. Thanks. That'll come up again in the next game. Fuck. She just took all that gear I gave her. Your idiot. Nice. What do you want? Can't you see we're just trying to meditate here? Leave us alone. Pretty game. view really is something and we have a perfect view of Mount Colts too so this light that we've been chasing really believe it's just some student practicing martial arts <laughs> at least that makes more sense than the old man's suggestion 
As if magic were just hiding out somewhere in the world. You never know. Here's what I do know. Mount Coles is said to have some incredible treasure. What if the light was actually coming from some ancient artifact? If we've come this far, we might as well take a look. <laughs> oh, you idiot. Uh, I suppose that's about as likely as anything else. Okay, sure. Let's take a look. Jump down. I don't remember if that's where Rachel dies. I don't remember being Mount Colts. I thought it was something somewhere else. Nah, this music is nice though. Say that memories change every time we try to recall them. Our minds play tricks on us. We alter the story to feel better, or just to survive. Look out! Replay that moment in my mind a thousand times. Details are blur, but the truth of the matter is clear. I couldn't protect her. I failed her. Seems like she took quite a fall back there. Come on, you old coot. When is she going to wake up? She's been like this for days. Can't you do something? The right kinds of petals and roots, she might be able to I might be able to reduce the chances of memory loss. What? Memory loss? Common side effect of trauma to the head, especially when you get knocked out for a while. Where am I? This looks just like my house, except something's not right. Oh, I thought they were going to make that the end of the game. I'm awake, I'm fine, see? No response. Oh, this is going to get depressing real fast, isn't it? Yep. Stay back. Don't come any closer. Seize. So, that'll teach him. Get away from me. Just healed me? That'll teach me. Yep. 
That's a dream lick. some H or XP. I am under leveled. Where am I? So that looks like Figaro down there. So I'm above Figaro? Dream Tor. Holy shit. I need to not be digging around. Fate has no forgiveness for those who dare stand against it. Yeah, that was not good. So I have this shadow dude attacking me slash not attacking me. can steal anything from him. Stole the bandana, which is something normally Locke has on. And then he vanishes. What is it? What are you trying to tell me? You want to help me? Ah, Nick's joining the party. What the hell? Level 29. That's gonna make this a little bit easier. How you doing? Are you getting up and grumpy now? Is it past your bedtime? Therefore, past my bedtime. This pirate do. Oh, my goodness. So, Nyx is definitely here to carry me. So, it's an auto-kill for everything. So the first time when you were AFK, I fought Nyx twice and I attacked her. Um, which then resulted in her fleeing. Um, this time I just stole from her, which apparently was enough to just get her to, um, join me instead. Tired, go to bed, go away. You don't need me. Well, considering I'm in a coma or dead or whatever I am, it's kind of it seems weird to level me up, so I'm not gonna worry about that. My first instinct is to power level the shit out of Rachel and get her up to level 29 as well, but I feel like that might be pointless given the whole dead thing. I took a tumble down the cliff. Yeah, this William Cage dude has taken some interesting... 
turns with this too. Like it would have been very easy to make this just a straight fan fanfic, if you will. Um, but between the the fire scene earlier and now, f or sorry, not the fire. Um, the camp scene, the campfire. That's what I meant to say. Um, between that and the way that they handle that. Um, with the different interactions and even just giving you the pixel art while it kind of like narrated it. Uh, and then now whatever is going on with Nyx. Um, some interesting choices. I like it. Like it's remembering that it's not just combat. Um, I've definitely played some ripoffs or knockoffs or whatever you want to call them. For old school Final Fantasy games and they're usually just that. Or it is just kind of more of what's already there. Oh, Goya. You were you were getting to be too much at the moment, aren't you? You don't know what to do with yourself. Oh yeah, I really want to finish this now, though. I'm getting very interested in what's going on with Nyx. And am I in a dream, a coma, am I nearly dying? Yeah, it just seems like a common... A common thing for people to do, though, is just to get into, like, Oh, it's Final Fantasy, we need to just throw all the classes in, and we'll do this, and we'll add this, and then there'll be more places to go, and it's like... Yeah, but I made mean, a big part of Final Fantasy is the heart of it. Don't want to take her house. No, no, no. So we need to be afraid our little village isn't even worth their time. I'm just going to sell this. Feel something powerful coming like an ancient beast and an overzealous dictator. It's a shame what happened to that girl. She seems her manners have improved, though. I'll make him pay for what he's done. fall the other day and I'm doing fine. Oh, ha, ha. Is this a uh, coal engine? How did I get back home? I don't understand. Feels like I can't tell past from my present anymore. Hey, what do you think you're doing? No. Here, it's your fault she's lost her memory. The toughest girl I ever knew had become remarkably fragile. She could no longer remember me or any of our adventures. I was banished from Kolingen, but I vowed to return. I will find a way to fix this. We'll come back for you. Go A didn't have to throw a fit. Yeah, story and lore are huge. That would, that's actually... I don't know if I've told you this before, Mori, but the reason why... <laughs> lifesavers. Um, why I never got into Dark Souls or any of those originally was because everyone just told me about how hard they were. And it's like, oh, it's so fucking cool. And it's like, you have to... And there's no such thing as a cheap fight, like, everything is earned, and you lose because you're dumb, it's not because the game's cheap. And that always bugged me, and then what actually clicked for me when I was, when I just played Demon Souls, I, I did like a 4 in February sort of thing, 
Um, and when I played it, uh, the story, like the actual like lore and world building, is what really got me to stick to Demon Souls. Was exploring and like picking up items and like getting little pieces of lore. And then uh, good old Vati on um, YouTube it was amazing for getting me into a lot of the stuff. Inspired by the creative works of all wonderful people. Um, but like Vadi's videos on YouTube were fucking amazing. Um, because I went from Demon Souls into Dark Souls 3, and this, the, the world building Dark Souls 3, aside from compounding Dark Souls 1 and 2, um, I think that they really just hit their stride with a lot of stuff. This game engine was created from scratch, and JavaScript is a non for profit available for free of charge. Six Engine has no affiliation with Square Enix, Nintendo, or any other commercial entity. Oh, that's pretty. Um, but yeah, watching Vadi's videos and like piecing together all the stuff that I didn't understand before um, was nice. Like, understanding, like, oh, what was his name? There's the one king you face. He's an optional boss. Um, but he, it's the guy with the invisible child. Um, and, like, learning about that was freaking amazing to me. And, like, the, the, the part of Dark Souls and Demon Souls and all that that I like is is the world and exploring it and you know going into it like what was it the i think it's the third world in demon souls where it's like the jailer section um and just realizing like this is a realized world it's not just oh it's this dungeon and then that dungeon it's like no this is a fucking world that we built so that you can explore and it's dangerous as hell but it's an amazing world a lot of lore between uh the character lore the item lore um, there's a history there, and it's just, it's fantastic to be in that. Um, so yeah, story and lore is absolutely 100% what I'm into, uh, which is usually why, like, RPGs like Final Fantasy are, you know, what pull me in. See, I have some idea in my head of a TV series prequel to FF6 called The Returners. Uh, canonical? I would, I would be down with that. I wish... I wish Square didn't hate Final Fantasy VI. Um, I really don't know why they hate this game. Maybe it's because Sakaguchi was, like, it was so key to him, and that was, like, the last one that he had his hands 100% in on. Um, I really don't know why they hate this. Why they hate Final Fantasy VI, because they never go back to it in any meaningful way. Because they did the, the horrible... PC slash iPad port, um, which, like, this, for example, looks better than that did because, you know, they just kept it with sprites. Um, you know, it's fluid. Like, you can touch it up without necessarily having to completely just ruin it. Um, so, one, <laughs> it's not crap. It's just ugly to look at. Um, I know a lot of people, and this is this is probably going to drive you insane, Pocky, but I know a lot of people where that is how they know Final Fantasy VI. Like, they had not played it prior to iPad. Um, so, they don't care. It doesn't look bad to them because they just take in the story and the music and all that. So, um, that's the Final Fantasy VI they know, and it's scary to think about, but they probably think the Super Nintendo one is ugly because it's very, you know... Uh, blocky. So, that's part of us getting old. So old. Hmm, that was a good game. I liked it. I'm bummed that I can't immediately play more. So, like, for how do I. So, if I go back, Six Engine. So, technically, there's a playable demo for part two. Next of Kin, how long is that supposed to be? So looking at this, Next of Kin starring Edgar and Sabin is approximately 15 minutes. You know what? Um, I'm going to go for it. If you want to hang out and keep watching, uh, 
awesome, I'm down with it. See, they even have Scenario 3 planned already, 8 Virtues. I can't tell, Let's see if we can zoom in, who that is in that. I don't recognize any of those three people. Looks like a Shogun or a Samurai, a Knight of... Oh, maybe that's... It looks kind of like Celis, at least the shape of things, but... Um, definitely doesn't look like her as far as armor or anything goes. I don't know, but uh, I am excited to get some more of these games in. Or to see more of it. Um, we're going to go into uh, the beta of part two. So, if you like hanging out, awesome. Thank you for hanging out, everyone. I do appreciate you joining me. Uh, Mori, Kalisti, Canonical, Pocky, Davey was in for a minute, Jesse. Y'all are good people. I appreciate you. Morning already, but let me hold on. I have to fix this because this does not stick between plays, which is somewhat annoying, but it is what it is. All right, let's get this cursor out of here. Morning already, still tired, but gotta get up. Come on, sleepyhead, get up. RPGs love to start with sleepy heads. Today is the day. Try out my new invention. Just need a bone fragment from outside. Light from the bunker entrance is precisely reflected behind this thin parchment. Illusion of a surface level window is very convincing. Uh oh. Oh, we're up, duh. Said Edgar and Sabin, so that means we're in Figaro. And I forgot Figaro likes to hang out underground. Because we were definitely in a castle. Field mail. Scala. Scola. Use the Agma menu to equip your new field manual. Here's a quick demonstration. Tutorial mode. I was wondering about that because it wasn't selectable in the last one. Learn enemies' weaknesses. Oh, that's fun. Scala equipped, you can uh, use the field ability Observe to locate any nearby secrets. So, uh, L and R cycle through field abilities and Y to activate. That's very cool. Bone Sand Ash. Yeah, because, I mean, that means it's Huh. I, I dig that. Um, Final Fantasy V, I think, had something like that too. Where you had skills, maybe it's three, um, tied to your class that you could use outside of combat. And I really like the idea of that. That could have some good payoff. Let's start here. Just talk to the sleepyhead. Yeah, let's wake her up. Oh, bad idea. Move even a tiny bit, I'll pull the trigger. Don't test me. Calm. calm down has never worked in the entire history of calm down. We all know that. Okay, so it was FF5. Thank you. Yeah, because I, I remember like thieves. Someone moved fast, like double speed. Someone else could go through walls or over walls. Uh, my options are calm down, which never works, you're bluffing, or get off my property. Fuck, I'm about to get shot already. Take it easy. It's not a good idea to wick someone up like that. Put your weapon away. Aw, oh, you're no fun. Put it away right now. Hmm. Maybe I should just turn you in. What? You're joking, right? Look, I promise I won't eat any more of your food reserves. Come on! What if I agree to stop sleeping here during the day? 
It's been weeks. You can't hide down here forever. Ooh, ooh, I know. I'll help you gather some more raw materials up there. Ooh, joining my party. Fine. It's about time you started earning your keep. Just don't come cry to me if you get hurt. Decima, join the party. Shing! Alright. Let us continue on. Weird. So this is definitely not uh, Figaro. Next of kin. Decima looks familiar in that picture. Is that like an alternate realm, am I thinking? Check out Figaro. There's sinkholes out here, and some have to be turned bone pits. You should be able to grab a bone fragment from one of them. Hey, if you don't want to waste your time fighting monsters or trying to dodge them, let me stun them just so we can waltz right past. Use Eleanor to cycle through field abilities and Y to activate. Ah, that's awesome. Alright, I am very down with this, uh, these extra abilities that they have. Look, there's bones. Can I just take those fragments? Just look at that gap. Almost big enough for me to fit through. This will be a handy shortcut once I'm done boring it out. Okay, so I can touch them and does not activate combat. Hey, look out! This area is on sale. Please step back. We should have this patched up pretty soon. Come back later. After this demo. <laughs> Sorry. I'm annoying. I know. Alright. Let's see what combat's like. Hey, I recognize those from the last game. Uh-oh. Decimo's about to die. And she did. A weak against ranged attacks. Not so sure about that. Decimo's uh, corpse would disagree with you. What does Steady do? That's interesting. I like that they added classes into this. I didn't. It didn't even dawn off me that that. I guess they were both thieves on the last one. Yeah, I still stand by. Um, by the way, Kalisti, that uh. If you put this on shuffle the soundtrack with Final Fantasy VI, I would probably have difficulty to deciphering which was which. I've heard this so much at this point, I, I thought this was the Final Fantasy VI battle theme. Oof, yeah, she's she's a little bit of a wuss. So, can I still use her abilities? Yes, I can. Yeah, I don't think any more battles for me. Dart you in the face. So, is that the bone pit I'm supposed to be going into? Oh, shit. Yes, it is. Because I did just get an icon. There we go. 
I'm just dumb and I didn't touch the, the right spot on the map. Wait a second, do you hear something? I hear things all the time. That's what these ears are for. Uh, haha, very funny. Uh, look, I really need to get back to my lab. There's a lot of work to do. Someone's coming. Get off the road! Chocobo Knights! Why are you hiding? Yahoo! Hello there, old timer. Uh, Lord Edgar. Hi. Hello. How are you? Wait up, brother! Hey, old man. Did you hear? The tale of two brothers? What? No, just listen. Dad's letting us fight ant lions. Ah, oh, I hate you so much. Ah, you really buy that? Oh, what my brother meant to say is, uh, the grown-ups are clearing out ant lions and we get a badge of participation. That's not true. Besides, I don't care. It's an honor to be a part of it. Yeah, what an honor. An honor and a privilege. Give me a break. It's what you make of it. Come on, we need to get back to the castle. See you later, old man. Goodbye, old timer. Hey, uh, remember when I used to tell you uh, when you were little? Don't be a harp. Right, don't be a harp. What does that mean? Don't be a harp? Little brats. Only 35. Oh, God, that's old man. I'm turning 37. I just had a great idea. Uh, can I see that field manual of yours for a sec? Okay. I'm going to need that back at some point. And she's gone. <laughs> okay. This concludes the demo of Next of Kin. If you haven't yet, make sure to try the first complete story, Scenario 1, Worth a Fortune, starring Locke and Rachel. I'll use your browser to back when to return to content selection. <laughs> yeah, doesn't that suck when games are like, oh, 35, that's so old. It's like, fuck, what does that mean about me? Well, that was fun. I had a lot of fun with this all. I know that there's the Onosan, but I don't want to mess around with that because, one, that's not... Uh, thematically appropriately uh, appropriate to um, Earthbound is not my jam by any means by any stretch of the imagination I'd goof around with it for the sake of if Davey was around because he's hardcore Earthbound fan <laughs> I will not be supporting that game um, but I am curious about the music Because Earthbound has a very specific type of soundtrack. 7 Silhouette Center Enterprises. Hmm, I didn't know about that. I'll have to look that up. I wonder if he has a team he's working with now. Created by William Cage. Oh shit, this is very Earthbound. This dude does a fantastic job of channeling the games that he's trying to um, pay homage to. Because, like, there's also, um, what is that other game called? Uh, Citizens of Earth. Uh, that is very Earthbound inspired, but the look and sound is... I didn't enjoy it. I hate to be, you know, a dick about it, but it felt cheap Earthbound to me. Like, I played Earthbound a billion times, I wanted to make a game, but I didn't really get it. Um, but, that's very easy to say from the outside. So, 
that's all I have for the stream tonight. So I appreciate everyone coming out. Um, and, you know, chatting. It's always nice to have company while I'm doing these things because it's fun to play old games, but it's also much more fun to play with other people. So, especially because we're all old together. Um, which is always nice to still be able to play, old, you know, older games together, older style games. Uh, and have people that get a reference point. So, appreciate everyone coming out. Hope you have a good night, whatever you're doing, because the, the night is still young. Uh, Canonical, I'm still upset that I haven't seen your stream yet, so I need to get that next time, because I still don't know what the hell your D D D D D D D D D D J U game is. Um, so I need to see that. So, all right, I'll see everyone. Have a wonderful night. What's that little... Ching!